So I'm currently walking into the Zalman booth, so let's take a look at what they have. Let's start off with their CPU coolers and they have some insanely high-end ones here from four dimensional corrugated cooling fin designs, high performance, and these are their more basic ones. RGB as you can see as usual, high performance dual fan CPU coolers, and then you have some very interesting ones. So here, these are their ultra quiet series. And the one that I'm very interested in is this. So it's ultra thin. How's the cooling performance? I wouldn't know, but yeah, it's just interesting to see a company making things like these because I, to be honest, I did not know about Zalman until I came here. Now looking, they also have their own thermal compounds. If that's what you're interested in. And jumping over, these is just insane. Look at their fans. So basically, these are 120 millimeter fans and they have the ones with the RGB on the outside and these are their spider series. So there's a, it's like an X but with RGB lights. These are all RGB fans, everything. And over here, these are 144, 140 millimeter fans if you're interested in all this. And I may be biased right now, but they look gorgeous. Turning over to their liquid AIO coolers, they're using a slightly different tech than most AIO coolers out there right now. So I'm gonna punch in a bit. Their RGB as usual. And then just moving along. The way it functions is that now they have these two fan blades on the inside and it's patented for them. So one drags the hot liquid out and the other one pushes cold liquid back in so that you get better performance out of the ARO coolers, which I hope to test it out. On the next table, they have some really cute peripherals, which is also mouse with a wired charging pad on here. So you can actually just charge your mouse while you're using the, the mouse pad. They have their keyboards. Also another charging mouse pad. And then some headsets, high-end gaming headsets, which would be interesting to see. And this is what I thought was one of the most interesting. So it's basically a USB fingerprint reader. And they've been working with Fido2, which is the open standard for authentication and even for the working professionals, their mouse actually has a fingerprint reader built in. So really interesting stuff right here. This is Zalman's cases and these are just some insane looking cases. Look at that. So this is a fully water cooled system. So you can see the radiators on the sides which is actually at the top I mean and then your reservoir on the bottom and all of these are water cooled CPU, GPU and they are using the Royal RAM oh no it's too bright but yeah these are very very nice and what I was most impressed with nope it's not these fans on the front it is actually this system which is their total water cooling system so it looks like a normal water cooled system until you go all the way in and you'll notice all the components are all of the components are actually submerged inside this 3m liquid so you can actually this is more of a concept because like i said pricing is going to be very high for things for something like this but yeah imagine if you had a case like this how cool would that be they also have a custom liquid cooling case, which is their Z Machine 300. And it's a very, actually a ITX case, which is very small, but they've managed to water cool it. And it looks very nice. Aluminium tubing with the water block. Let's go over there. The CPU block here. And I'm going to use a mirror to see this, which is the uh, GPU is also water cooled. Very nice. This would be like so sick in like for people who have very little space in their gaming room but this just looks amazing let's move on to the more basic cases and not so insane ones 
for the more consumer market but they still have the humongous cases and something interesting that I noted is actually their, the way that they've made their, <coughs> their drive case so usually your shock absorbers as you can see the spring here they're gen generally horizontally positioned to absorb but this is actually vertically positioned to absorb so when it bounces up and down or anything when the drives are in use they won't be affected so this can also be used as your server style cases and even racks and then you have the other uh, cool cases so i'm just going to run through very very quickly this is their m302 so they have a mesh front or just a plain one and move over also a few other quite interesting cases to say the least Sorry. And move along now this is one of their concept cases not in full development yet but you can see that they really have some really big ideas that are going to really blow people away if they ever come to your house and you purchase it and you build a PC inside. It's just so interesting. They even have this triangular case right here where all your components are on the front here behind this tempered glass panel and then all your cables are hidden behind here. Yeah. We'll jump back to the stuff on the left in a bit but let's continue on with the cases as you can see they really have a wide selection and the reason this case is done like this so you can see that these two fans are vertically put you can actually still have a radiator on the top but at the same time still maintain these fans here so i'm really very impressed with what they are actually trying to do in terms of shaking up this case market and then the more basic cases all here and last but not least of their cases the x3 this is like a toolless design to get your side panel out so you have the black one here and they also have a variety of different colors which is just so cool okay moving on back to here so these are the power supplies and they have actually quite a few so this is the basic ones standby power supply then you have a completely fanless PSU which is their FPSU 800 so no fans but somehow they still managed to put RGB in which is really a bit cute and you have the ultra quiet dual RGB spectrum power supply so basically as you can see there are two fans top one takes air in bottom one blows air out and all the other basic power supplies so that's basically it for the Zalman booth. Remember to like and subscribe for more tech content from Computex. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!